Hi, my name is Kennedy and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Kennedy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys a tips for incoming high school freshman video. Um, these are things that I really wish that I knew and things that like I observed my freshman year that other people did and I didn't and I was like, ooh, shouldn't have did that. But um, basically I think anyone can honestly read but um, basically, I think anyone can honestly watch this video. Like, even people who have been through high school or, or have been through, like, their freshman year already. I feel like they can definitely relate. And then also people who are coming in can see the tips that I have for them. So, with all that being said, let's get on right into the video. Also, tell me if you like the lighting because I actually got this new ring light. So, tell me if you really like how this looks or if you want me to go back to my other setup. Also, this will be, like, more of, like, a rant type style video because i really like some of these things like make me mad it's like just bear with me this whole video <laughs> the first tip i have is to have your priorities straight i cannot tell you how many times girls be sitting here legit in high school like wondering when this dude is about to text them next but i'm like so what's your grade in biology oh well i i have a c or a d so What's your grade in geometry? Oh, it's the same for biology. C or D, I don't really know. I don't check. Some ain't right. Instead of sitting here worrying about this boy if he's going to text you or not, you should be hitting the books and studying for your next test so you don't fail. You do not want to be one of those kids that is a senior in a class full of freshmen. <laughs> Alright, so the next tip or advice you might say that I have for you guys is do not listen to what the upperclassmen say. Your first like full month probably, they're going to be like, oh, that freshman this, that freshman that. You are constantly going to be the center of their nitpicking just solely because you are a freshman. So do not take it to heart. After like the first month, they like legit begin to like warm up to you and then it, everything is all fine. next tip or advice that I have for you guys is to actually invest in a good backpack in eighth grade I legit like did not carry a backpack at all like seventh and eighth grade I did not carry a backpack my backpack stayed in my locker and I never took anything home that was not the case for ninth grade freshman year I quickly realized there was a lot of things for me to carry around from class to class and also at my school in particular, there was like legit no time at all to go to your locker or anything. So like you had to like put everything in your backpack and carry it to the next class because we had a five minute passing period. So what I mean by a good backpack, I mean like a real, real good backpack that's like not going to break. Like I've had backpacks before where like legit the bottom broke out because it couldn't handle the stress of my books and stuff. Okay, so this is the backpack that I have been using for the past two years. So I got this in eighth grade, but I didn't actually really use it. But this survived me the whole ninth grade year. Um, and the bottom doesn't even look like it's like about to break or anything. Like usually you can tell if it's about to break. So the bottom is still fine. Everything's still fine. I will be using this backpack for many, many years to come until it breaks. I suggest this backpack, honestly. Or... Or you should get one of those, um, one of these backpacks, the Embark backpacks. They're really, really good. So this next thing is, like, not really, like, an advice or anything. It's just, like, a statement. High school is not like the movies. It seemed as if in, like, the movies, like, everyone was, like, pushing people into lockers and stuff and, like, just, like, People getting like publicly ridiculed like in the hallway. It is not like that at all. No one has time to be bothered with anyone to be honest. Like at my school at least, everyone does not have time to be bothered with anyone. Everyone, like they don't care. Like I do not know how to stress this enough. No one cares in high school. It is not like middle school at all. Like everyone was in everyone's business back in middle school. But in high school people could care less what you were doing. They don't care if so and so was talking about so and so. They're there to get their grades. Also, like, the bullying is not like it is in high school. No one's getting shoved into lockers. 
no one's getting just like publicly ridiculed in the hallway nobody's like sitting there like laughing about it or anything if anything someone's going to step in and say that's not right <laughs> So this next one is super, super important to me because I feel like it is very easy to get caught up in this and that is petty drama. I know, I know I just said that like no one cares in high school, which is very true, but you still have those select few people who are like legit still in the middle school mindset as I like to call it or still being like very immature. Those people have not grown up yet. They have not gotten it into their heads. I don't know if they ever will. They have not gotten it into their heads that no one cares they haven't got it into their heads that they're there to learn they haven't got it into their heads that they're not the center of attention honestly my advice to you is if if anyone tries to start anything with you just ignore it honestly it's not even worth trying to get into it because then it can go to a spiral of different things like you can potentially get in a fight which you could potentially get suspended for which you could maybe get expelled for because that's an expellable offense at many schools all right so this is editor kennedy right now basically i didn't get to finish my thought but um basically just don't get into drama like it's really not worth it and bottom line, you're there to learn. You're not there to get into fights and to dislike people, so. Drinking, smoking, and vaping is not cool. Let me say it again. Drinking, smoking, and vaping is not cool. Honestly, this advice could be given to middle schoolers as well because honestly, it starts in middle school. This type of stuff starts in middle school. Like legit, like there have been kids who have been addicted to these things since they were 12. And it's honestly quite sad. Like I remember sixth grade old me going into the bathroom one day because I had to go use the bathroom, right? I go in there and it's all cloudy. I'm like, what's going on? Is there a fire? No, I was witnessing people using drugs in the bathroom that was scarring to sixth grade me i didn't understand i was like oh my god they're smoking like it's not cute have you seen those pictures of what that type of stuff does to your lungs like it is not cute because it's not cute when your liver and your kidneys failing it's not cute when you got lung disease it's not cute when you got lung cancer it's not cute when you're dead so really what's the appeal also I just wanted to say that you should really do not get pressured into doing any of these things. Honestly, I've seen what these type of things can do to people. And it's honestly really, really, really sad. Like, it makes, like, sometimes it hurts my heart to see, like, how people used to be back in middle school before they started doing all these things. And then they started doing them and how, like, broken they are. And, like, how, like, mentally, like, they're just not there. <laughs> it seriously like <laughs> back in eighth grade i had a severe case of eighth grade itis like it wasn't even funny like eighth grade itis if you don't know is the eighth grade version of senior itis i wasn't doing any type of work like i was doing work but i wasn't i was doing the bare minimum just to get a grade like and it didn't really matter i don't want to preach that i don't want to say that and preach that out to people but like scratch everything i just said scratch that scratch that it did matter but i didn't care <laughs> so it didn't matter to me but I was going into freshman year with the mentality like oh I don't need to do nothing it's only freshman year I still got three more years no no boo boo freshman year is where everything starts that is where your GPA starts that is where your reputation starts that is where everything starts the foundation of your high school years after about like the first month I was like oh this is real like if i want to have a good gpa i need to get start to work i need to start working so that's exactly what i did and i ended up ranking third actually <laughs> in my class so that video will be out soon on how exactly i did that and it won't be nearly as ranty as this video it'll be more of like a how i did that what i did and my experience but that's beside the point. Anyway, bottom line, take freshman year seriously. Alrighty guys, that'll be the end of today's video. I'm, honestly, I'm sorry that this, <laughs>
I am so sorry that I legit like ranted and like screamed at you guys this whole video but I felt so passionately about all the things I talked about I've experienced some of these things I've most of these I've seen other people experience these things and honestly if there's any way that I can help any one of you I want to I do not want you guys to go down these paths because honestly these paths can ruin your life some of them can honestly ruin your life but I just really wanted to get like this stuff really off my chest because I've <laughs> I feel so strongly about this I'm sorry but if you like related to any of these things like any of these high school experiences or things were different at your school definitely let me know in the comments section below because remember I respond to every single comment I like and I heart the comments and I respond so if you want to have like any type of like conversation about anything it don't even have to be about the video if you just want to talk leave it down in the comment section below also, for the month of August, I'll be filming school-related type of videos because school starts this month. So, if you have any type of school-type video suggestions, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Also, I post every Tuesday and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for the rest of the summer. I don't know how that will be once school starts on August 20th. That would be my start date for me. So, I'll be letting you guys know what works for me during that time. But with all that being said, I love you all and goodbye. Thank you.